So Rico Bosco's gone. We did. This is this is perfect because people think Bosco like this, there, there's, this there's show's going to be different. There's a that doesn't have Twitter. That's yeah. like, what the fuck yeah. is going on? You know, the saying is, the grass, it isn't always greener on the other side. Time will tell. It's me, Dave, and Hank. Back to the original three. Last parts of uh, Mount Rydermore still standing. Wait, wait, he didn't get fired, Frank. Yeah, uh, Hank, he didn't get fired. He, he, he walked he left. on his own. I love Terrence. Rico is being a baby. Every, there's a lot of things that w went, could have gone differently, should have gone differently. Uh, probably I, I'll own up to, to some of it, but uh, yeah, I wish Rico, I wish it worked out. still not working with us. It's gonna be a crazy episode. So Bosco quit yesterday. Dave and Dan are about to get on the episode, talk things through with Hank. As a rotter, I'm broken. I'm torn, because I still can't believe it's fucking real. Um, but we're about to record Pick'em. It's probably gonna be the best episode of the year. It's like I'm going into like game seven in the finals, like nervous, shaking, excited, all different emotions. I just don't know how to wrap my head around it. You know, it is what it is. Uh, I, I wish him the best. I hope he does well in his future endeavors. Listen, we were we we were we were good. I I, I hate to see him go. I hope he does well. But I don't know why y'all are laughing. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. There's maybe like two people here that if they left, I'd be like, nah, that that makes me it's upset. The rest, I, I live my life. Y'all live yours. It is what it is. Trey sent me a special uh, cover for this episode. That's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta find someone else's hole to come in because now it's just no purpose. It is crazy. I can't believe that he's gone. I still, I like woke up and I thought that he was gonna be like, he was gonna be like, nah, this is all a joke. But it's crazy how many people think it's, it, it is a bit. Like, yeah. It's, yeah. it's not a bit. He's coming Rico Bosco has never been a bit. On and off camera, it's the same exact guy. This, I would, even as much as I would love to think it's a joke, it's not. Yeah. How's it going, man? Not good. It's horrible. Maybe the worst day ever. I just, it's not gonna happen, but like, I, I'm just praying that he comes through the door. The, the past, whatever hours, 12 hours, I've just been like, but like, what if he comes back? Oh, the, oh my God, the letters. What yeah, is like, didn't I say in mine, like, I hope we just get through the show? <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to God, I think that's what mine says. Part of me thinks I really said something about like, I just hope we get through the season. Like, I I hope that's, I mean, I hope that's what I said. I haven't read that. Oh and credit God. to me, I'm shocked I still oh, have this dude. notes. And Dukes, that is, does a, oh, 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 oh. Dukes does the same credit for, uh, <laughs> Keeping on the notes. I gotta get it together. I didn't chug this coffee. It's so blue. It's so blue. I didn't know he left. I, he hasn't, still hasn't told me. So that's, you know, there goes our history. Yeah, we've we've been through a lot, me and Rico. He left to uh, go hang out with our old co-worker, Tristan Crick. And I, it's, it's sad to see. It's sad to see someone go and no one... Didn't even tell me, Liam. I think he's very entertaining. But then he stopped coming to Pick Central every week. We lost him. He was gone. I hope he's happier because he was not himself. He wants to be the straight man. But uh, yeah, Rico. It's sad to see. I can't believe he actually left. I was getting DMs yesterday being like, is this a whole bit? And I was like, no. I feel like he'll be back. I hope he's happier. But yeah, it's been a... Maybe he'll text me. As everyone knows, I went through some things here and I didn't cry at all. Just kind of did my work and I'm back. But uh, it was shocking news. It was shocking news. He didn't tell me anything. Would you appreciate it a hello or a uh, goodbye? Or yeah, shout out or I feel like yeah. I feel like I was best friends with the guy at one point. I texted him too. I was like, what's, are you all right? He goes, never been better. Gotta talk to the family. 
talk to you in a couple days. A couple days? It's like, he, it sounds like he's going to war. I love Terrence. Rico is being a baby. All right, boys. I'm not happy. I'm actually mad. Ugh. Okay. Um, three, two, one. What's up, fellas? It's, it's me, Dave, and Hank. Back to the original three. The last parts of uh, Mount Rydermore still standing. So I got a text yesterday from Erica being like, Rico quit. I was like, shut up. That was my reply. I said, <laughs> shut up. So Rico Bosco's gone. There's a timeline that Dave, you can you could present. I also have a timeline I've thought about in my head. Uh, well, yeah, I, I'm the Oz. I don't, I think Dan, you probably, I, a little more came to light. And let me say this. I'm not mad at Rico. I'm not disappointed in Rico because what I have said for a long time at Barstool is if you don't think I'm paying you what you deserve, go get it somewhere else. It would appear that's what he's doing. And you know, I like, I do like Rico. I think he's the craziest guy who probably has ever walked through these doors. Ever. And he just kept saying, I'm just, uh, you know, there's no hard feelings because I'm honest, I'm honest. Every other word was honest. And he's like, we'll finish up the season. I'm just being honest. I'm like, I don't even know what you're talking about. And then he told me the company that he's going to, and it is competitive. It's a competitor, competitive space. So they're like, all right, you're out. So if people are wondering why I didn't finish these last two, it's because he's going to a competitor. It's like, I wish you well, but you're essentially dead to Barstool in the terms of being on airways, participating, like you're in a competitive space. I think if he came back, I would make him crawl through the office as opposed to walk. Like he would not be able to walk upright. He would have to crawl. <laughs> and I do wish him luck. All right, so let's read the last note, the last dance note. So if you remember week one, uh, we all wrote down notes. Whose idea was this? Was it Bosco? Bosco. It was, okay. So I don't know who's. Imagine if he says he's leaving in oh, this I'm gonna note. I'm gonna read his. Oh my god! I need. I like. I, I respect the hell out of him. <laughs> All right. Do we know? Like I have an agent. Who's... The joke's on you. I think my name's on mine. I don't even remember writing. Uh, oh, oh, dude! I just opened. This has to be Dukes. He just said, "Don't mess the record up more than three times." <laughs> did you? Did you mess it up more than three times? It's all relative. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's all relative. If Fair. deleted tweets count, probably. And this must be Bosco. <laughs> Imagine if he's like, I'm out of here, you suckers. If you're reading this, I've joined the Taliban. <laughs> 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 Goals for Rico Bosco. A, top five every week. Two, still be employed. No, D, no way it says that. Still be employed. It says that? Still be employed. Oh my God. <laughs> still be employed. Still be employed. To, uh, D, still be alive. <laughs> okay, Got that's it. dark. Bonus, this one is... <laughs> this one's a little, little tear in my eye. Bonus, Dave to say, good job. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you said good job a lot to him. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing, to be honest with that. Why, why not play out the string? Right. January 1, yeah. be like, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. He also did it on Pearl Harbor Day. Yeah. Did Rico Bosco's yeah. family fight for the Japanese? <laughs> Some are asking. Larry Bird's birthday, Pearl Harbor, Bosco doesn't renew. I guess he didn't quit. No, he, but he, just, he just didn't renew. Yeah, I have. I still haven't closed the book. I, I'll say that he's got he's got a week. I said it on the pick'em. I think there's a week window where if he comes back, we can build this back up, and then after that week passes, it's probably it's probably over. The book is is still open, and I just don't see him coming to his senses or not his senses. I think he's made his decision. He is. Big Cat kind of said like he's a very proud guy. Like I don't I don't know that he has it within him to like come back in with his hand and hat in his hand unfortunately but i'll i'll be hoping i mean uh end of an era and an ever end of an era i mean uh you know the saying is the grass it isn't always greener on the other side time will tell sad day okay. end of an era a lot of uh great memories a lot of great times uh, i wish him well yeah, I wish him well. I, I wish I wish things had gone differently. I I think there's uh ever there's a lot of things that w went could have gone differently, should have gone differently. Uh, probably I I'll own up to to some of it, but uh, yeah, I wish Rico wish it worked out because shooting star he was great uh, when he was here, 
but now he's with a competitor, and uh, I think he he wants he thinks he's going to be a star somewhere, and I hope that happens for him. I hope he's more than anything. I hope he's happy. Rico is his own worst enemy in a lot of ways, and gets in his own head about a lot of things. And it, I think he thinks that this move will give him inner peace. That's all I hope for. Two monkey boys. You happy? Yeah, this pitcher, the Mets has got, is married to Pete Upton. Oh shit. I'm about to be a Mets fan. Yeah, I'm about to be a Mets fan, but I don't tell the wife. <laughs> I just hope he's as good as DeGrom, I know. I know he had one to Cy Young last year, but I have my concern about his age. There's never, I gotta say this, there's never been a player that I've been more angry to see you walk away. Apparently it's, apparently it's good news, you get right. it? So if, if Frank's happy, I'm happy. Do you see Frank's mouse video? Oh my god. Yeah, Frank Lennon and the mouse. Headshot, blood. In in the door. Oh my god, Frank killed it! Did you get it? Oh my god, Frank killed it! Did you get it? Frank killed it! Did you kill it? Oh my god! Did you get it? Frank's a bad man! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Get him, Frank! Kill him, you son of a bitch! Kill him! But he's trapped, he's trapped! I can't get my foot in there! I guess it! Come in our stream, blood, you'll die! You will die! Kill that son of a bitch! No, right around here, bro! You would have thought the Mets just won the World Series. <laughs> he was so happy, blood. I ain't seen him smile like that all fucking year, cuz. Blood, the rat, the rat motherfucker came from here. He tried to cut. Man said, Frack, there's a rat! Frack just turned and just went, Instant blood. It would finish him. Oh, I was on his Shang Sun blood. Your soul is mine. I saw it coming and I just closed the door. I like, swear, hey, that rat's pissed he left Harlem, bro. <laughs> he jumped on the wrong subway, blood. Your metabolism just, just doesn't keep up like it used to. I just pointed out a stain on Dana's. Uh, he walked over so Liam, Liam, I've been in the gym six days in a row. I've cooked meals based off a nutritionist who's telling me what to cook nine days in a row. And I've gained three pounds. I'm Mr. 275. <laughs> Is that what we're at right now? This morning, yeah. Damn. Then two of spider. <laughs> this, who, uh, Zoopy. Zoopy edits this. Uh, I need him to put a big blur right here. <laughs> You're an asshole. Why? You're just a... I, you came over to me, so I was going, yeah. I was just saying, seeing how you are doing, and uh -huh. you were looking at, you were staring at me. <laughs> How do you think you saw that stage? You're pull the staring. footage, pull the footage, it doesn't exist. That's I just want all the dickhead fat shamers on the internet. I know you're trying to motivate me. I'm trying, okay? <laughs> I think there's something wrong with me. I think I have a tumor in my stomach. Right? Oh. How do I not get lose any pounds at You gotta eat that rat that Frank just killed, and then- <laughs> You kill a rat? I think there's something stuck in my body that just is like stopping me from, gain, from losing weight. How you doing? Oh, I'm, you just, I'm just trying to figure out why I'm so fat. 
Oh, so. you know that if you only drink beer, you'll lose a lot of weight, like no food. I don't have a sip, <laughs> sip of alcohol. I'm at my, I'm at 275. Hey, 6'4", 275. Is that, a, is that a record? You know you're fat when you have to like say your height before your weight. 6'4", 275 is like, that's like Joey Bosa. Nick, yeah, just like Joey same. Bosa. Yeah, just, you wore a puffer jacket into the office today and you took it off and got bigger. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want? I'm gonna get Micarabia. A Micarabia? That sounds exotic. <laughs> yes. I'm not gonna fly all the way to Qatar and not get a Micarabia. I don't know what to expect, but it's a fucking Micarabia. <laughs> Let's go. I can't wait for these McShaker fries. I mean, if you're not as well traveled as me, you can always know if someone is Filipino if they say, sir. They will say, sir, every time there's. Hey, sir. See? Very polite. <laughs> Great people. It's time for another Thanksgiving. It's time for another Thanksgiving. It's time for another Thanksgiving. Let's see what we shall do. We stopped by McDonald's on our way home. It's Thanksgiving in Qatar. I don't know what to expect. So on the way home, uh, this broke as it does. So Donnie, here's your soda. All right, Thanksgiving soda review in Qatar. Dun 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 Does Coke Zero have caffeine? Shattered. It's fucking 4.45 a.m. in the morning. Does this have caffeine? Uh, I give this Coke Zero a... I give it a 4 out of 20. Okay. 5. It actually tastes like it's got, got some extra seasoning in it. Some extra, they put some stank on it. Oh, Whoa. who got the Mick Royale? This looks like a fried pickle and it's got specks on it. I love specks on my food. Did it come with a jam sauce? Um, I don't see any McDonald's, any McJam. It's a million dollar idea though, McJam to go with the camera bites. Listen, that right there, that fucks. If you put some Dude. McJam on it, then that, that fucks in the ass. What, what are these special fries that we call it? I think they're just fries. But you remember we had special fries. Shake them. Shake them. Here's what you do. You go, oh yeah, put it in there. Holy yep. fuck. Yep, yeah, Donnie. Yeah. That's good, that's good. Okay. Oh, it's time for another Thanksgiving. It's time for another big shaker. Just filling your berry, berry. Where did this come from? Is there a hole in my bag? Yeah. I'm gonna take a line. I need you in like reasonable shape tomorrow. I think if you snort a line of fucking peri peri sauce, it's not gonna be good. It's, fu it's fucking Thanksgiving. I'm in Doha, Qatar. I will never be here again. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking dumb. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh no. That was dumb. Oh my god, that was dumb as shit. The burger seems kind of like old, but. Man, the mushroom sauce is just incredible. I gotta be honest, my son is starting to kill me right now. But the right side of my face is just on fire. <laughs> it's time to slice the turkey. <laughs> to make Arabia, folks. That's exactly how I like my chicken, like super pale. <laughs> Homeboy comes over with the pale chicken, he's gonna get it. Oh, but it's nice. I think it's like if you took your aunt's Caesar salad and you put it in a blender, and then fried it. I'm pretty sure it was called a wing. Everybody oh, your chicken? this is a wing. Dude, this is a fucking wing. Shut the fuck up. Dude, this is a wing. I guarantee you it's a wing. Dude, this is the, this is the craziest wing ever. One, two, three. Oh, I won. Well, you get your wish. Does that mean you also get the rest of the wing? My wish is, my wish is for you to eat the rest of this wing. It is a wing, right? This is a wing. I'm not gonna lie, I think I might have to go to the hospital because of the line <laughs> peri peri season that sort of. Do not go to the hospital because first of all, I will not be taking you to the hospital. This is what you need to do. You need to snort a line of water. Oh. Oh, I feel so much better. <laughs> I feel 
I feel way better now. So I'm the last man standing, blood, as usual, blood. Last man standing, blood. Only Brit here. Last man standing, blood. You understand? Spain gone home. America gone home. Show the Yanks. Quiet. Show the Yanks, bro. I'm quiet. I'm Brazilian, dude. I'm are you in? I, 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 wait, where are you? Are you in Qatar? Where are you? Are you in Qatar? Where are you? Are you in Qatar? Oh, whoa. Yeah, I'm not that small now, am I? I'm not five foot, am I, blood? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Tate was five foot, though. Yeah, my son. Hey, what is five foot though? You get me? I gotta tuck the five foot like the police around. <laughs> it is football. Just understand. Understand. It's, it's a different language. No, no, no. It's football. No, because yeah. it started F U T B O L. Correct. Football. Different language. No, that's what the language. We went to that's soccer. What, that's what the last soccer. Is <laughs> yeah, see, you know it. Soccer. <laughs> you see, think you can talk football? Yeah, no, I don't. Mean. I want really you to know, try it, blood. Yeah, 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 you're still bigger than me, Plus, you can have that, blood. Fuck <laughs> that player. He's a hockey player, blood. What do you want me to do, blood? You know, hockey players, for the most part, well, the Europeans, really, really good soccer players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good. They because all play. It's just like football. No, I know. Nice. And they play it growing up in all these different countries. Zero, zero. zero it, yeah, it's not super exciting, but the entire no, game I love. No, no. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, you have to tell knowledge, blood. Tie game, bitch. Draw. Zero, zero. No, no. <laughs> I do think no, no sounds better. It does. But no, the home team should be there. Oh no, it's not. Yeah, it's left to right. No, they're on the left they're side of the road. Hey, they're traveling to the left right. Left side of the road. Yeah, left to right. They're yeah. traveling left, left to right. right. So yeah. they're traveling to, to the road. They're traveling. To right. You're proving yeah. not right to left. Is he not proving my point? No, that no. When the home no, team's on the right, left they're right. traveling no, left no, no, to no, right. You go from left to right, blood. You go from left to right, not right to left. You go from left to right. So that's what I'm saying. The team traveling goes left to right in the city they're playing. It's about who's the home team. It don't matter about where the city is. Who's the home team? The home team should be first. Portugal, Switzerland, yeah? That means that Portugal is the home team. You fucking yanks will make the home team the second team. That's just dumb. You manage this extra about everything. You, you, the way you talk, oh my God. Everything, You're making fun soccer, of Let's go back to everything you don't do is just extra, bro. Let's go back to the video. Everything, we you have, drive on the right hand side. Why? Drive. No, because yes, the team that's why on the left, left is right. traveling no, 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 to the that's, right. No, that's why it's left to right, because the home team's on the left. How the fuck are you going to put the home team second? That's going to confuse me. Because we're left to right, Country. You're damn right, you're fucking that, blood. I'm not gonna, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna look back, blood, this motherfucker. You see, I beat up the married gang, yeah? You understand? No respect blood. from this guy. Don't dumb me anyone, but me and him. Soccer. Football. That brings the respect. Him, football, I, him, him, I'll be that Whitney's guy. Whitney's the only. I'll be that guy. Mm. Fortnite can go fuck himself, blood, but yeah, Whitney's He's my a, guy. He's a bum. He's a muppet. He's a bum, blood. Tottenham will never win a thing. You they see? never have and they never will. Even Whitney knows, blood. <laughs> Legit, my team is like, he may hate them, our rivals, yeah, yeah. but Chelsea's get, get shit done, they win trophies. We have beat you, we have beat you. Last time you played in the final, what happened, blood? How about a black club, yang? I love you, troops. Yeah, I love you too, pussy old blood. <laughs> Where's fucking Vinny, blood? <laughs>
Next game. Hey. Okay, okay. I counted six months. I'm done. Oh, good. He had me good. <laughs> Couldn't break out of that. Ooh. I love you. I love you. Guys, you know, my, my neck's a little sore. I went to the hospital. I'm probably be on painkillers for a year, but you know, listen, you got to do what you got to do. I fucking love you. I fucking love you. I fucking love you. Do such a class act. Where are these? Ain't you Martha Stewart? You're supposed to know that. <laughs> yeah, I should know that. My voice is, is gone. I have a best man speech on Saturday. I simply cannot lose my voice. Big Cat gave it to you, I think. I think he did. Oh. We're having an affair. Fucking Hank, I mean. For no, me. I mean, no, it was at 11 o'clock. No, I'm uh, good. My notes are ready. I mean, putting pressure on me. Cat's no not pressure, even here. No, no pressure, no pressure. I'm pressure. just like, yeah, I'm just, you know. Are you ready for the call? The call's coming. Damn, bro. Is, I shouldn't be wearing this. Oh. Easy, yeah. It's bad love, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good, Phil. <laughs> Did you see uh, Mitzi one up your email, by the way? Yeah, no, that was, that was, I appreciated that. Mitzi just always wants to make sure people know. I emailed everyone, because Stu asked me to. I emailed them at like two. At six o'clock, Mitzi sent an email saying the exact same thing. Look, I'm getting all this. <laughs> Stu, Stu Finer texted me and said, hey, let everybody in the office know I'm bringing a crap ton of food. So I might have missed an email that was sent like four minutes before saying that. But I just was trying to be the messenger, man. Damn. What do you What do you want from me? Stu sent me the same text, asked me to email to everybody, and I was like, no. Same. <laughs> Wait, you got one as well? Yes, I got yeah. one. And at first I thought he was he picked me and then I saw That's Hank's nice. email and then I asked the other people and they all received the same text. Yeah. So he essentially just sent a company-wide memo. Yep. But told everybody else to. But individually, not even yeah. in a group text, yeah. just spammed everyone individually. It's okay. impressive actually. <laughs> I laughed a lot when I saw it. <laughs> it's like, it's just, you know, I didn't see the first one, obviously. <laughs> Dude well. texted me, said, hey, send out something to the company to let everybody know we got a ton of food coming. Is that okay? Bro, you can almost say anything. I don't know if I'll ever press that send at all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, you can almost cool. say, like, hey, there might be some, like, there might be a bomb going yeah, on here. Yeah, there might be a fire. I'm not sure if I would send it. It's close to good, right? <laughs> People ask me, JJ, what kind of haircut is that? I just tell them, when you go to your barber, just say, hey, can I get the JJ? I don't know. Feeling amazing, feeling grateful, feeling positive. We got food for breakfast. Dude, what's, your, what's your strategy? Like, I know you texted me, can you send a memo? And it seemed like you, you may have texted every other person, can you send a memo? Like, do you just, is you just like copy and pasting that text to every employee? Not every employee, but just the, fr the friends that I have. How many people is that? 10. But if everyone, that we there was like 10 memos sent. No, no, they all said you sent it. But then Mincy sent it. A lot of times when I brought food here, people didn't know, so now I'm over the top with it. Maybe we'll get you access to the company-wide server, and you can just send whatever you want. Great. That'd be good. Yeah. I love that. $25,000. That's better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. If you ever look on uh, Zenefits, like the HR website, it posts everybody's birthday every day. It's like today is whoever's birthday, and it always gets one like, and it's Frank the Tank. That's like, unbelievable. Like <laughs> Tommy, you're losing your voice. I have a best man speech Saturday, and I could feel a potential. You're so erotic. Just fucking drink vitamin C. When I was young, I had a very a, my first poodle. It was very loyal. It was great. The poodle was so neurotic. I think it killed itself from stress. And that poodle goes hand in hand with Tommy. I think that they really remind me of each other. He has a best man speech five days away. Things that you can do in five days: sleep, water, vitamin C. They both grow up. Daniela <laughs> had. Here we go. Sorry. Sorry. Three, two, one. Barstool Sports Advisors. We. I didn't start that. I just followed. I'm the third. Oh man, that rules. Spider's close, but he knows. He gets out of the way. Good. Oh, uh, beating back in Dave's chair. Oh, it went great. I yeah. mean, he's having, I mean, come on. You guys, you guys see the comments on the YouTube, no? Listen, I love Dave. Dave's the best boss in the world. He might be past his prime. 
That's all I'm saying. But but Dave's he got it. He might just not have it on a consistent basis. Okay. JJ. <laughs> I mean, Always brings it. Consistent.